everybody welcome back to my channel today I am doing something brand new this has never been done before so today I am doing a new tag um, me and a bunch of other Australian mums have made up a brand new tag for every single Australian mum to do if they please basically this is called the ultimate Australian mum tag so me and a bunch of other mummies um, decided to just make this tag, do a video and see if, you know, other people decide to do this. Everyone that is included in this video is linked down below. So definitely go check out all of their channels. There is a fair few ladies that I am including, guys. But definitely go check out those channels. And definitely, if you want to go find some new amazing people that you want to love, they will be in the box below. I'm going to get straight onto the questions because there is a fair few questions and I have to get this going. One, before the Telstra man comes to connect my new internet and two, before the child wakes up. So we're going to get cracking. So question number one, Vegemite or Promite? I am definitely a Vegemite. Number two, Neighbours or Home and Away? I am a home and away girl through and through. Even though I don't watch it as much these days as when I used to when I was like younger, I can't stand it. Question number three is Woolies or Coles? Now I shop at both of them, but Coles is definitely, I favour that over Woolies. Question four is what's one thing about raising kids in Australia that you love? One thing I definitely love about you know, having a child in Australia is there is so many different cultures and races in um, Australia and I absolutely love that. So, you know, there's so many different people out there in Australia and I just love the fact that Frederick can learn things from other children, from other cultures and everything and I'm really excited for that. Number five, is there anything you would want to change about Australia for your children's future? Well, something that hopefully will be changing soon that I, obviously I don't know if it's going to affect my child's future or children's future, but I would really like marriage equality to come in. I have no idea, you know, the people my children are going to fancy, but if they decide that they want to be same-sex um, relationships, then go for it. I honestly do not care. I want my children to feel comfortable and knowing that they can marry and love the person that they want to no matter what gender they are. Number six is what do you wish Australia had that other countries do? I wish Australia had better childcare um, facility things like in, what is it, Switzerland or something. They don't pay anything for childcare. What? I wish Australia was like that because it would be amazing. So many people out there struggle to pay for childcare because it is so expensive here in Australia. So Number seven is what's my favourite city, town or holiday spot? Now I haven't done much travelling around Australia, let's be honest. But actually my favourite city is probably... Oh, this is a hard one because I absolutely love living in Perth. I think Perth is absolutely amazing. But when I visited Darwin, I really liked that. It was just so different to what any other place I've seen in Australia. And I just really loved it. Holiday spot I really like here in Perth is Margaret River. I love Margaret River. If you want to come to Perth, definitely go to Margaret River. It is amazing. Number eight is if you had a choice, would you continue to live in Australia? Yes, I would. If I had a choice of like living here or living somewhere else, I would definitely continue to live here in Australia. Even though I would love to live in another country, I love living in Australia. Number nine is you're not Australian unless you wear thongs. Now, people will probably think thongs like G-strings. No, thongs. Thongs that go on your feet, guys. But you know what? I must not be Australian because I literally do not own a pair of thongs. <laughs> I have been for like six years. Number 10 is how do you like to spend Australia Day? Now, Australia Day here is huge. Like... It is like the day that we celebrate being Australians, basically. And normally, like, people just drink, go down to the beach, 
watch the fireworks, all that kind of stuff. I've actually never really been huge in celebrating Australia Day. It was only really when I became 18 that I really got into it because obviously I got to drink and I got to go out and all that kind of stuff. But I've never been really super into celebrating Australia Day. I know that's probably really bad um, and a lot of people will be like, why? You're, you're Australian and all this kind of stuff. But I don't know, like, I understand that we're celebrating being Australians, but I personally don't think that I need to drink alcohol or, you know, go hang down the beach because it's Australia Day. Number 11 is favourite Australian movie. I would definitely have to say Croco Crocodile Dundee is one of my favourite Australian movie. Number 12 is favourite Australian celebrity, musician and... My favourite is Chris Hemsworth. I love that man oh my god he is a piece of work guys he is amazing as soon as he stepped on the screens of home and away i fell head over heels for him i adore that man so much and all the other movies he has done i'm obsessed with especially thor i'm obsessed with that movie but there's nothing else i really need to say about that it's more like he's just eye candy that's all he's just He's just eye candy. Number 13 is, which Australian celebrity are you sick of hearing about in the media? Well, I don't personally think this is a celebrity, but it is a politician. And I'm sick of hearing her nonsense in the media. But it is Pauline Hanson. If you don't know anything about Australian politics, she's very annoying and I really don't agree with her whatsoever. I know some people do, but I do not whatsoever, I think. She just needs to go and stay hiding where she was before. She didn't have to come back because it was so good without her. 14 is favourite Australian animal. Mine definitely is a wombat guy. Favourite Australian childhood book is actually about a possum. What is it called? It's Possum Magic. I absolutely love that book. I actually got it at a book fair when book fairs were actually a thing. I got it at a book fair when I was... I don't know, I think I was about five or six. I might have been in pre-primary when I got it. And I still have it to this day. It's actually in Frederick's book collection now. Number 16 is favourite brand of nappies. Now, if you know me, I don't really use disposable nappies. So I don't really have a favourite brand of disposable nappies. But for cloth nappies, I definitely do. So my favourite Australian brand for cloth nappies is Green Kids. They're actually made here in Perth. Absolutely love those nappies. They are amazing. The last question is favorite family meal. Now, I don't really have like a classic favorite meal that I've loved to cook, but I definitely think that like Sunday roasts have always been a thing. Um, and I definitely love a good roast. Like, oh, give me a roast any day. But I definitely think like a roast with like the whole topping is amazing. So that is all the questions. I did miss a few questions guys just because it didn't, uh, it wasn't relevant to me just because you know Frederick is ye a little bit younger. Um, so I didn't answer those questions but I will be listing all the questions down below so if you want to do this video definitely just go look down below, go get all the questions and you guys can answer them yourself. But I hope you all enjoyed I guess getting to know a little bit more about Australia. And if you did, please give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe down below. And I guess I'll see you guys all next time. And don't forget to go check out all those other lovely ladies videos because they'll be so pleased if you do. But anyway, I'm going to get going. So I hope you all see me tomorrow. Bye.